In a world where chronic hunger and food insecurity threaten the lives of millions, according to the United Nations, approximately 735 million people, or 9.2% of the world's population, were facing chronic hunger by 2022. <laughs> Sukuma, mchicha, mboga zote, bora inge itapata. Asa zingine unazapata, asa zingine unabatisha. Hata kama umeweka mbolea, wazaweka mbolea, na mvue kakosa kurudi, ikachoma. Ikachoma ile mimea uka kosa kupata kitu. The situation is projected to worsen by 2030, with more than 600 million people worldwide facing hunger, deepening inequality. The truth is we have to ensure that we... We, we, we have a paradigm shift from uh, depending on rain to depending on uh, irrigation. <laughs> to realize sustainable development goal number two, which aims to achieve the zero hunger target, the county government of Kilifi has launched a new land management model that focuses on farmers with the aim of utilizing 50% of the 12,246 square kilometers landmass of arable land for agriculture. We do conservation in also key three, key three areas. We do terraces, that is uh, addressing the runoff again, at reducing the, 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 the velocity, and also doing harvesting, small structures, which are easy to construct, which the community can easily adopt. Those are the farm ponds of 100 cubic meter. In the different nine catchment areas, we have a total of uh, 90 uh, VMG members that have benefited. The regions that practice environmental degradation caused by centuries of unsustainable farming practices, deforestation, and overgrazing resulting in severe soil erosion, loss of topsoil, and reduced agricultural productivity are now regenerating into green fields. Before we start any intervention in any catchment, we take them for an exchange program to appreciate some of these interventions so that when it's done in their farms, they're able to continue. So it was more of learning and getting exposed to some of these structures because they have not been done here. Sustainable land management involves adopting <laughs> sustainable land practices with the goal of improving the health of our ecosystems, enhancing food security, and improving livelihoods of rural communities while reducing environmental degradation. Irene Bale's farm showcases the success of SLM. Farm pond, dairy cows, and poultry have become models of sustainability, yielding healthier crops and improving livelihoods. Yale maji, ambayo yako kwenye kile kidimbwi, eh, nimemagia hizi nyasi na kwa sahi tu wakata tukiwekea ngombe, ili wakati wa kiangazi, tuwe tuwa... Mohamed Nda from Rabai has seen the positive impact of sustainable land management on his farm. It is not just about crops. It is about revitalizing the land, preserving soil quality, and fostering biodiversity. Sai napata mboga, napata matunda matunda, tomata, viazi, nani, nani, lakini bado tunia kidogo kidogo. Lakini nataka kwanzia 2024, 2023 uko kuenda mbele. Hasa 2025, niwe na uza hizi vitu. Either Mombasa ama Kilifi, mana ni otauni yetu ya karibu. And we have about uh, 150 and beyond of such farmers uh, within these catchment areas that have adopted. And for those that have adopted, we have uh, supported them with dam liners. Joseph Kinga, a chairman of Mkondoni SLM Group, has dedicated his life to train farmers on sustainable land management practices. He is the driving force behind the movement that transforms communities and landscapes. Ulipokuja, watu walisema wanaharibiwa mashamba hiyo maana hawakujua maana ya terraces na hawakujua maana ile nyingine. Lakini sasa kwa sababu nimechaguliwa kama mwenyekiti, ninaingia humu na mule kwa kuwaelimisha. We have put uh, close to 7 million this year to ensure that we also rehabilitate the Gamra, to reach, we, our target is to ensure that we do 500 acres under uh, irrigation. Through NARIG, communities were required to practice sustainable land management practices on their farmland, 
resulting in thousands of hectares of land being protected. We have project management committee at the community level. These committees have regrouped these beneficiaries into groups where they visit each other, they learn, they do peer reviewing, where they learn from other members what they are doing. And also to address the sustainability aspect, we have, we have youth in each catchment who have been trained on how to carry out these conservations. With increased yields, farmers can produce enough food to feed their families and sell supplies at the local market. Officer Mark Bain, he and I to train because we have a ya saving na loan. So to transition to the market, who we have saved to look at to make sure we are buying at all. The holistic use of these sustainable practices secures a healthy and abundant future for generations to come. Levis Msumba, KT News.